Oh my goodness, that is a tarantula hawk. A lot of you may be thinking, it's just a wasp, but trust me, you do not want to get stung by a tarantula hawk. <laughs> Man. Right now, I am in the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge in southwestern Oklahoma. Today I'm checking out a new area in the Wichita Mountains that I've never been before because most of the areas are closed down due to the COVID-19 outbreak. And this is actually a really good spot. I wish I knew about this spot sooner because this habitat is actually really promising. Even after they do eventually open back up the trails, I think I'm going to visit this place pretty often. I definitely like this spot more than I like some of my other spots. And not only is the habitat great in this area, but this is not a popular trail. That's why it's remained open during the outbreak. Because a lot of people don't even know about this trail, and it is certainly not a popular trail in the area. So I just came across this big muddy patch along the trail. And last time I was here, this was actually a huge flooded creek. And I have to use these logs to walk across this creek bed because even though the water is all gone, it is a huge muddy mess. But for trackers, that is actually a good thing because now that all the water's gone, we can check out all of the animal tracks in this fresh mud. And it is clear that there is a ton of wildlife in this area. Just looking through this little mud patch, I can see bison, I can see deer, elk, coyote, and even turkey tracks. Unfortunately though, no Sasquatch tracks. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving along this trail. And just walking the trails, it is very evident that this place is absolutely filled with wildlife. I even found what looked to be lizard tracks or maybe a small snake on the trail. And there's also animal scat everywhere. Tons of bison, tons of elk, and tons of coyote scat just littered all along the trail. This area also has a couple of small pockets of water, little ponds and two large creeks that flow up into a larger lake. So just at face value, this spot is definitely excellent habitat for Sasquatches if they live in this area. So as I was walking on the main trail, I looked over to the side and saw a small side trail. And as I always do, I figure any side trails are usually worth checking out because when you go off the beaten path, you usually find some amazing things. And that is when I stumbled upon this beautiful oasis, just off to the side of the trail, but covered by enough trees that without that trail, you probably wouldn't even know that it was here. This is just an excellent spot. Look at this. 
look at that. This looks like an excellent spot. If I was to like stay here overnight, like camping or for a night investigation, this would be the perfect spot in this area. You have this nice little watering hole. Animals probably come down here to drink all the time. You have this nice open meadowish area. Perfect. I don't know if this is big enough for fish to be living in, but definitely could be. Look at that, there's a hawk flying right up there. Should be, I can't see him. There he goes, there he goes. So there's a hawk. Actually, that is not a hawk. That is a vulture. Another one of the coolest sights that you get to see in this area are the turkey vultures. But this is an absolutely fantastic spot. Probably full of snakes, full of frogs, tadpoles, possibly fish, at least little fish. I don't know about bass or anything like that, but at least little fish. And this is just a small watering hole in this area. It's nothing big, but it is about halfway in between the two large creeks that run through this area. So if you're an animal, this would be a nice little halfway spot to, to get a drink of water. And this spot actually reminds me quite a bit of Sylvan Pond in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio. One of my favorite locations I've ever been squatching. But this reminds me of that spot quite a bit. Of course, there was no, we didn't have any of those large rock formations in Ohio, but most of the spot is just surrounded by woods. Nice open field in the back and a nice little pond in the front. This is an excellent spot. This is also an area where the forest transitions into the big rockier mountains that the Wichita Mountains are famous for. Half the trail is lower in elevation, relatively flat, and goes through uh, this forested area that is rather reminiscent of my time spent in Ohio. And as I was going up in elevation into the rockier areas, I started noticing small rock piles next to the trail. Now, of course, I assume these are most likely human made, they were right off to the side of the trail. A lot of hikers and backpackers just like to stack rocks in areas that they've been as like a symbol of accomplishment. But some Sasquatch researchers say that Sasquatches actually stack rocks in like a similar vein to tree structures, perhaps as some sort of communication with one another. Now, I don't know about that, but I do know that hikers do them. So for the most part, I'm going to say that those are most likely made by other hikers but I decided to mark them down in my field notebook just in case. I find some more later and maybe some patterns will develop and maybe it will be revealed eventually that Sasquatches do make these. Um, and if they do, uh, that information is going to be valuable. And with further documentation, maybe we'll learn something from it in the future. But for now, I'm going to say that these rock stacks are most likely human made. Unfortunately, I do have to stick to the trail most of the time because the forest in this area is very dense and incredibly thick. This place is also home to a large population of venomous snakes, as well as cactus, poison ivy, and most of all, wild hogs. And overall, this is just an excellent area in the Wichita Mountains. It is absolutely fantastic to get the opportunity to get back out in the mountains during this crazy time and just, and just get away from everything. So my advice for you today would be, don't be afraid to check out new areas. It's very easy to find a spot and stick to it, make that your spot, go there all the time. But if you do that, you might not even know that there's a, a honey hole right underneath your nose. I, I used to drive by this place every time I came to the mountains, never even gave it a second thought. Um, but now after checking it out, this is one of the most promising spots in this area. 
So my advice for today would be, don't be afraid to check out new locations and always take detours. Just be safe while you're doing it.